Okay. All right, this is uh, episode four of the Sab Powers podcast. I got a psychopath here. Good What's going on, you guys? Hey, buddy. I just want to thank you for this awesome webcam you gave me. Yeah, it's, it's doing you good, I see. Yeah, look how high def I look compared to before. <laughs> <laughs> I can almost see your beard hairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks, it looks really good. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, so like basically I'm just trying to do this to get watch time. All my videos are too short, so I figured I'd start my own podcast. Because I've been uh I've been Jones into podcasts too, but uh David's always too busy now that he's a famous TikTok star, eh? Oh, is he actually? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's blowing up on TikTok hard. He's got like a couple of uh videos with like over two hundred thousand views now. Oh, I gotta take a look at that then. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Oh, it's nice. It's funny. He's blowing up on TikTok. I'm starting to blow up on uh, Facebook Gaming. Yeah, that's awesome. Adam blew up on YouTube, and then there's nothing left for me. <laughs> no, I'll you're gonna make Snapchat. it, dude. You're like <laughs> at the time of this recording, you're like two subs shy of 350 uh, subscribers. I keep yeah. track of that stuff, man. Yo, thanks, bro. Yeah, I actually had 350 last night, so I think two people on sub since <laughs> last night. Maybe two people whatever. just don't like podcasts then. Well, no, I'm actually surprised with the amount of people that, like, enjoyed it and watched the whole thing. Because, like, I, I had a feeling that um, the people were just, like, watching 10 seconds of my video mm -hmm. and, like, clicking off or whatever. And just right. leaving a comment, hoping that I'll click, like, right? And, but a lot of, I, I said, like, fucking half hour in, or I wouldn't even go that long. We went 20 minutes. But I said, like, 18 minutes in or something. I was like, whoever made it this long, comment cheeseburgers. And a lot more people commented cheeseburger than I actually expected. <laughs> so. It's pretty, no, that's awesome, pretty good. Dude, you're actually getting fans, which is awesome to see. Yeah, it's crazy, man. If they and come I back, they take a look at your videos. Your watch time's mm. got to be through the roof. Even if it isn't that much, like, it's, it's completed videos, right? Like, right, yeah. You're watching for, like, six seconds and then just leaving. Mm. Fucking, like, uh, <coughs> yeah, and, like, a lot of them, I support them, like, crazy, too, right? Like, I watch all their videos, I comment. But some of my fans, like, don't even have videos, or they have, like, one or two videos. So it's, like, when they call, I can't even go back and watch more videos. I just, like, I literally have to tell them, like, just post more videos or whatever <laughs> make a video i want to support i want to show my love thank you yeah <laughs> man you're killing it with the facebook stuff right Dude, okay wait it's go ahead you know i'll say it's been awesome like and with the whole platform how it already exists existed before streaming took place like it makes it a pretty easy transition to do that's awesome man drop all your uh things that people can follow you out or whatever your all Instagram right so i'm not really doing youtube anymore but you can get you can catch me on facebook at cycle path which is z-i-c-h-a-e-l-p-a-t-h -E mm -hmm. i almost got lost in the spelling of that yeah i was gonna try to shut you up but then i was like fuck i don't know how to spell cycle path <laughs> well dude if you can spell michael you can spell cycle <laughs> yeah and if you true. can't spell path that's another problem that's a good point i have a brain injury for everybody that doesn't know it's self-diagnosed <laughs> so but it is real i think i don't know anything's real uh how do you feel about ghosts bro do you think ghosts are real Oh, I, I know ghosts are real. Like, a thousand percent know that they're real. Oh, so it's it's impossible that they're not real? You think? I think belief has a key factor in it, but, like, the shit that I've seen, the stuff that I've experienced, like, that's just, that that's still messed me up today. You, do you want to talk about it a little bit? Can you tell us some of the stuff you experienced? Yeah, sure. Sick. So, my grandparents had this house in, like, the Laurentians of Quebec. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I always had like weird shit happening to me over time. Like I was sleeping in the basement because that's like where all the kids slept was like the grandkids would sleep in the basement. And my room had like a bathroom, like right attached to my room. So I always keep like a door open with like a little bit of light coming in just like as a night like growing up. Mm -hmm. And one night I open it up and like, or I open my eyes and the, the door is there and you can see like three or four distinct colors in there. Even with my glasses off, I can still make out colors. Uh, and it's just all fog in there with lights flickering. So that was like one wow. weird thing that I dealt with. I thought maybe my cousin took a shower, but he was asleep in the bed like across the room from me. All different colors and shit, like a rainbow. Kind of like that. What's no, like, not like a rainbow, but it was like red and green and brown and yellow. Like you can, you can make yeah. it out. Well, they... it was like all foggy in there. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. I don't even know. Uh, how I, didn't, like, I didn't sleep there very often because it always freaked me out to sleep there. But like one time, too, 
I woke up. I don't know if it was like sleep paralysis or what, but like I woke up and I tried getting out of bed and I get kind of thrown back in bed. And then I actually like actually opened my eyes and there was this like giant shadowy figure, like eight feet tall, holding me down with like giant ass horns. Damn, bro. I think that's a dream, though. That's not like a ghost. I don't no know, dreaming. but like my, my, my family <laughs> had experiences with it, too. That's crazy. Oh, shit. You guys talked about it and you described the same thing? Yeah. Damn. Okay, they've since got, they're no longer at that house, but like after that, that I just refused to sleep there anymore. It's like weird shit kept happening to me all the time. A- Adam Wickens brought up, brought up something interesting. Why, why are there only inside house? Like, there's no like, like, why do they stay inside a building? So, typically, a ghost stays inside a building because it either died suddenly or died violently, and that's kind of the last place that it was. So, if you tear down the house and build a new house in the exact spot, do you think the ghost would still be there or not there? It's gone now. Probably not. If you destroy the house that it's currently in, chances are it's going to go away when the new one is built because there's new energy in there, right? Because their whole thing is that there's all energy with them. They're like they exist purely as energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, think of it like removing the trauma scar from what something awful that happened, right? Like if you get over a really shitty instance in your life, it's not going to scar you anymore. Right. Same that's a good basic concept. That's a good point. Like uh, something my cousin believes is that, like, say, like someone was killed in like this alley or whatever, the energy stays there for years or whatever, right? So right. it, or it doesn't necessarily have to be a ghost or just like a bad experience happened there. And then it's like the energy stays around. Exactly. Is, it, just, it has that like vibe of bad around. It, right. You know? Right. Like you've been to the blue ghost tunnel, right? Here yeah. Yeah. Niagara? Yeah. So when I went in there the first time, uh, it was just, I, I'm sense. I taught myself how to be sensitive to energy and stuff. I walked in and I went from calm to like freak the hell out in like 0.2 seconds. Damn, dude. And like the further in we <laughs> got, the creepier it was. So my friends went, but my friends that were braver and didn't actually have that, that the same like energy sensing issue that I have, mm-hmm. they made it all the way to the end. They found this like bloody rag with a pentagram on the ground and like maggots what all the over. What the fuck? Yeah. That's there was like some cult stuff happening there. Yeah, that's some real people shit. Like <laughs> that's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's some fucked up stuff. Never went back there again. That's crazy, yeah. I, I went there when I was a kid. I don't even remember what happened, but I do remember it being super scary. I think, like, even, like, our batteries and the flashlights died, something like that. Maybe I'm making this up. I don't know. But it, well, I went when I was, like, 13, 14, right? So it's, like, 15 years ago, even longer. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never went back. What's the other one? There's Blue Ghost, and then there's we Blue have... Blue Ghost, and there's Screaming Ghost. Screaming, t- screaming Tunnels. Yeah, I went but, there. Uh, yeah, Screaming Tunnel, but I think... Nah. I think, like, someone signs the crap out of it and ends up being, like, a methane pocket that causes the screaming. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so yeah. interesting. Damn. Huh. So there's actually screaming in the screaming tunnels. Yeah, Thank there's you. actually screaming in screaming tunnels. Wow. I never experienced it. Like, I went, but I didn't see anything. Mm-hmm. Did you hear anything, though? No. No, I think if I heard something, I wouldn't sleep for, like, three or four days. Yeah, that makes. If you scary. just walk through and you hear like a blood curdling scream, like I'm sorry, but I'd be like, uh, no, I'm, I'm good, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. So did you uh, did you listen to the first one I released with uh, with Taylor of this? I started watching it, lost internet, got it back a little bit recently, so I'm gonna finish watching it. But like you guys are having a good vibe anyway, which I like. Yeah, Taylor is out of control, man. He's got so much energy. I fucking love it. <laughs> oh, I know, dude. Just seeing him doing comedy, you can tell that, like, no matter yeah. what. Yeah. He's like that ADD kid that's just, like, the class clown of fucking crazy one, you know? <laughs> no, so he crazy. reminds me of Jim Carrey, actually. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, for sure. He could do fucking crazy impressions. I wish I asked him to do more. I got him to do two different old ladies arguing. It was so funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you have, like, he's got multiple old lady voices. I'm like, go do an impression of an old lady. He's like, which one? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great, bro. All right. Uh, so, like, you believe in ghosts. Magic. Let's talk about Devin believes in magic. All right. Is magic possible as well, you think? Not to what we see in Hollywood. 
Right, not that. Like, but that's is more there... like fantasization stuff. Is there magic out there, though, that we don't know about, maybe, you think? It wouldn't Some surprise point. me. Surprise. I mean, like, I believe in magic. I studied like new age stuff for like ten years. So, like, you think you can maybe like put a curse on someone, or what? What kind of shit is possible? What's impossible? Is it possible to make a fireball? Is it possible to curse someone? What should I, I be would... afraid of with the magic out there? Well, I think if you piss off a magician, you're screwed either way. Because like some people study this and practice like hardcore eight hours a day, kind of thing. True. Well, so you, they could probably do something. If you piss off a magician, they might just throw some cards at you. But if hey, you piss off a those card edges are sharp, man. <laughs> you ever heard of a paper cut? Yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> that'd be crazy. Death by card trick. <laughs> <laughs> but what's possible? Okay, you didn't you didn't really answer my question. I want to right, know. Right. No. Okay. So, <laughs> what's possible? Um, sensing things is possible. Okay, yeah, so um, some like So really what magic is that we can do is energy manipulation. Right. Human energy being manipulated, sent out somewhere to go and do a certain task. Mm. Like you can uh like people can actually use energy and magic to attack people. Like look at uh karate master. Do you ever see your karate master where like he doesn't even touch the guy, but the guy goes like flying back or like gets knocked to the floor instantly? Yeah, all those videos are fucking fake, bro. Those guys... Oh, I've had experience <laughs> with that, man. Don't get me fucking started on that. Bro, Joe Rogan talks about this. Like, one of those guys that does, like, the fake karate things or the forces, he fucked his... He believed it himself, so he tried to fight, like, a real fighter, and he just got his ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like those guys that crumple up a piece of paper and they can, like, make it, like, lay on fire. You know, with the energy. Have yeah. you seen those videos? I see. There's this one guy, a Chinese guy, I saw it years ago, and I can't find the video anymore. It was an awesome video. Mm -hmm. But it's like what I'm talking about, right? The, that crumpled up paper, and they're like... <sighs> yeah, see, I, I don't really know the whole thing about that. I think yeah. if that is magic, that's like some next level magic shit. Some next level shit, bro. Do you ever, uh, do you ever meditate at all? I do. Does it help, you think? I think it helps. I mean, you got to be like in the right mindset mm. for it, though. I find like it, you can you can use meditation to calm down. Yeah. But for me, if I'm too okay. hyped, like if I've had too much coffee or I've chugged back the energy, I can't just you know, um, <laughs> like a second later, I'm gonna be way too jazzed up and way too wired for that. Yeah, for sure, dude. But like, if you're like, if you need to like wind down from the end of the day, it's nice. Like you know, you plant your feet on the ground, and you just focus on your breathing for like five minutes, and it just totally zens you out. I should really meditate more. I've only meditated probably like five times in my life. It's a weird habit to get into because like it was one of those like, you know, you see in movies all the time, the guy like meditates and then it's like 12 hours later and he's late for a date or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like my biggest issue is I, I have a timer when I meditate. Oh, and then it dings off. You're all in the zone. And it's like, oh, time to stop meditating. Exactly. I'll put like a 10, 15 minute timer and just like let it go this way. Like it's not like, oh my God, how long have I been here for? Has it been years? Am I going to have a giant ass beer when I get out of this thing? <laughs> That's so funny, bro. <laughs> Fucking, man, my hardest part with meditating is like stopping my mind from racing. Because you're just trying, you so try to like that, focus on nothing, right? It's so hard. There's part of the trick. Because you end up focusing on your mind racing because you're trying to have it go down, right? Yeah. Think of just letting it flow while focusing on your breathing. Don't focus on your mind. If you focus on your mind, you're like, stop, 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 stop. And then it just freaks you out. Right. That's why you focus on something more calmer, like you're breathing like a deep breath right. in through they your nose, that, yeah. out through the mouth. Mm -hmm. Just doing that. Exactly. Yeah. That feels but like good. like slow even breaths too, breath. like deep yeah. breaths. Like breathe through your stomach, then your chest, then out your chest, then out your stomach. It's called Word. a vase breath. A vase or a vase breath, is it? Vase. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was just walking with you, bro. <laughs> no, I know you are. No, but that's like that's one of the things you can do. So basically, you breathe in. You know how you, you can breathe in through your chest or through your stomach, but you can have like more shallow breaths through your chest. Right, right. Yeah, so yeah. You do like a breath from your stomach first, and then you keep the breath going, which feels really weird. Because at a certain point, you're like, I should be stopping right about now. Why am I still breathing in? Mm-hmm. So you go in through your stomach, then your chest, hold it for a second, out through your chest, out through your stomach, and you keep doing that. And you focusing on that slow breathing and that slow motion calms you down and sends you out. Word. 
Fuck yeah, dude. Do you believe in aliens? I do. What do you think, Kate? If what do you think it's most uh like what do you think the aliens would look like if aliens did come here? Or are they already here, you think? Or what what do you think? So my whole theory is they're kind of like circling our solar system. Okay. Where it's like, okay, these idiots are gonna get it at some point. We just gotta wait for them to be like, okay, okay, we're done being jackasses. Oh, so they're kind of just like keeping their distance from now and like seeing if we either destroy ourselves or become progressed enough that we could be uh, with them or whatever. Exactly. Here's the thing: like we have space travel, like we can, but like we can fly a rover to Mars, but we couldn't go to Mars ourselves. Not yet, but almost. Not yet, but like we're getting, we're advancing more and more every single time we launch a rocket into space. Mm-hmm. So eventually, we're going to be able, like maybe a hundred years from now, interstellar travel. Just keep in mind, we've only been like going to the moon since like 1960s. We've only gone to the moon once. We've only sent people to the moon the one time. And a lot of people don't even think that's real. Fucking that's true. Idiots. Listen, man, <laughs> when, the, when the flag is waving in the wind, that there's not supposed to be wind. True. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fucked up, I guess. Um, fucking what video is that, though? Like, uh, they're all so low quality and shit. And like, you yeah. got like... Neil deGrasse, like I watched, I kind of believe got into the whole moon conspiracy conspiracy because conspiracy because like you can go down any crazy rabbit hole long enough you'll start believing it right. But like you right. listen to actual smart people talk about it, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, and he's like, and it's easier to just go to the moon than to fake all that. It's like it is it's or something way less stuff to hide. Like it's because covering up a lie that big oh. is a lot of work. That's like okay. We got to be a team effort here and tell the entire world we did this and then find every single loophole before we tell them Mm -hmm. so we can cover our asses. And for that shit to like never get out, you know what I mean? Like the whole flat earth thing, it's like there has to be so many people conspiring. And like, man, the the flat earth people are just like mind blowing to me, dude. I know. It's like you can literally believe anything, you know what I mean? Like I'm down for having an open mind and being like, yeah, anything's possible, but it's like, uh. Well, look, even if flat earth was true, if a meteor hits a side of the earth that's big enough to destroy the earth, we're just flying off the earth. Yeah, well, like. Like it's not going to be the meteor explode, like, impact that kills us. It's going to be us dying mm-hmm. in space. It's just so many like things that don't don't make sense with that it's like no <laughs> is it part of like what are we sitting on a table on like a giant bigger thing it's like i don't know but fuck let's get away from the flatter <laughs> thing i want to get back into the alien stuff so, okay, right, so what, yeah, what, i think so i think they do exist okay so what, what do you think, think they look like like but giant bugs like stormtroopers or like the, the long the long gray ones tall gray i ones. think you'll be the long gray one because you know you ever seen the movie paul oh uh-huh. So I, I actually like his whole like description of how of why the aliens look the way they do in pop culture and propaganda. And why is that? I, I think that that's how they actually look like, and they that that right. people have been like slowly putting that image out there to get us used to it. So when it's an alien and pops down, it's like, oh hey, you actually look like an alien. And you think if you think about like the progression of where humans are going, it almost end up like in that state, right? We're becoming more and more hairless, right? And it's like taller. If you even like hundred years ago, if you go to like the War of eighteen twelve houses, they have tiny houses, tiny little beds, and they're like people were shorter back then. Now, because all the drugs in our milk were all taller, right? Or if right. you think about like how we're so different than all other animals, like a lots of people think this, like maybe those gray aliens took some of their DNA and put it into like a monkey or something. And that's what created uh, the humans. Maybe. I mean, look, yeah. we, we really don't know. We're never going to know. That's the bottom line. Well, we might, you might Unless get some, like, gray alien something. pops down. <laughs> Unless some great <laughs> alien pops down. It's like, dude, I fucked your ancestors. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> How's that anxiety treating you? Cause they were scared too. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious <laughs> that's where all your anxiety stems from oh my god I just that's actually pretty fucking funny dude oh my god you miss doing stand-up bro so much well here's the thing i my last stand-up was niagara's top comic i didn't even get to perform and i, I got an opportunity to like switch states so i could have done like two weeks earlier because somebody had right. to switch 
And I was like, nah, I'll do the last week still. I know. <laughs> you got the shit into the straw with that. Yeah, it sucks, dude. I don't even, like, I don't even remember my set and shit anymore, you know what I mean? I had, like, the solid set I was doing. If I had to go do a set, like, tonight, I would fucking just be like, you know? <laughs> Coronavirus. This guy is screaming at us. What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, go ahead, ukulele. Never mind. We're covered. I was crushing it with the poo finger joke. I forget how that even dude, goes, though. <laughs> that poo finger joke was fantastic. It's funny. <laughs> I can't like say some it of now, your top yeah. of the line work. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, thanks, bro. I got a really fucking... I wish I had, like, a good recording of that live, you know what I mean? I got to... Like, next time... I don't know. If, I, if comedy ever gets back to, like, the way it was before all this quarantine shit started, I'm going to start pushing my fucking YouTube channel at all the shows, man. You might as well. Like, I never really did that. Yeah. After, because like just we're cause, not like, getting paid most of the time, right? So after the show, I'll just be like, "Hey, if you actually want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube." You know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having me on stage. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And just walk off stage. Yeah, that'd be fucking awesome, dude. I think because <laughs> like I was doing like a couple shows a week, so maybe seeing like a couple hundred different people every week. Right. And, and even. Gonna, like, you can do your YouTube channel. Like, you can push your YouTube channel, but, like, I'm not going to go for my audience member. Hey, like video games? Like guys screaming while they play? You should check out my channel. Yeah, go watch me live stream. I don't know. I'm just, like, down to, like, do anything to try to advertise myself, right? It's, like, you know all those fake accounts that add you on Facebook? Yeah. And it's just, like, some hot girl, and then it's, like, sex cam here or whatever right i've been accepting that. all those friend requests and then i'll just blast my videos all over their wall <laughs> over over reply to everyone in the comments like send me a dirty pic and i'll just like blast my fucking videos on there and i actually had one person like comment on it say they watched it it's pretty hilarious bro <laughs> 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 no but see you're getting a response back from sex bots you're doing something good no, it wasn't a sex bot that commented. It was someone else that, like, the sex bot added or whatever, oh. right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. But that only, like, I did it. I'd probably blast my video, like, 50 times. It only got one person, but still. <laughs> it's very fun. Um. So, well, what do you think about Epstein, bro? Let's hear your thought on, uh, thoughts on Epstein. I think... I'm pretty sure he didn't kill himself. Yeah, same. I agree with that. Uh, like the fact that even all the evidence points to not self kill, like not suicide. Yeah, just the fact that like the camera alone. Oh, this camera just happens to stop working. It's just the way I look at it is like the, the whoever did it knew that like it's obvious that he didn't kill himself. They're just so powerful. They knew everybody's gonna make memes about it. They're just so powerful that they just don't care. And they know that, like, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, so fucking everyone made memes about it. And then it just disappeared. Nothing ever happened. No one ever cared. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, yeah, fucking other shit to deal with, I guess, right? Yeah. And the, the meme thing was, that's the thing is that we have memes today. Mm-hmm. Which, like, what other conspiracy, because, like, the internet has existed for our, like since nineteen ninety one, I think it is, or nineteen ninety eight. Since conspiracy theories? No, no, internet. Because like. Oh, internet, yeah. Because there wasn't really uh, memes before the internet. There was stupid advertisements. Yeah, there's no definitely no memes before the internet. <laughs> no, like memes yeah. is like a very millennial thing. Yeah, it's funny to know that. Take a picture of SpongeBob are related to Epstein at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's funny to know that, like, when the world is ending, people are going to be memeing about it. Everyone's just going to be, like, joking. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's what I saw with this whole coronavirus shit. It's like everyone's yeah, look, just... It's, it's funny, too, because, like, when this whole, like, pandemic happened, my first thought was, I'm a gamer. I'm only trained for zombie pandemics. <laughs> that's hilarious. Dude, zombies, like, no one should be afraid of zombies, for real. Like... If you give me a spoon, I could take out, like, ten zombies on my own, you know? Right. You could I'd just have, like, a, uh, a group of, like, SWAT guys could take out, like, a million zombies. It's It would never yeah. get to that point, you know what I mean? It's like... No, and <laughs> we know about zombies. Like, we're, it's embedded in pop culture. The yeah. only thing I hope is that it's not the um, 28 Days Later zombies and, like, the Shaun of the Dead zombies. 
racist. Man, have you ever read uh, this comic book called Crossed? No. It's so fucked up. It's like this gory, nasty shit. So they take it to the next level. So it's kind of like zombies, except like you can be infected anyway, like spit, whatever, same kind of stuff. And they just end up with like a, a rash on their face. And they end up super crazy, but they're not stupid like zombies. But they become like evil, like they want to spread the disease. They want to hurt themselves. They want to hurt others. But they're still just as smart as they ever were. You know what I mean? So if, like, right. if they could... Uh, fly a jet before they could still fly a jet and it's just like the craziest shit and it's way scarier than zombies and i think even more possible too to have like a parasite that just makes you that gets in your brain and makes you want to do fucked up shit and infect other people right right mm -hmm. and i think there's some there is actually some parasites in the world that like makes you like okay i gotta go out i gotta go see people i gotta do this just so it can spread faster that's fucked up yeah and it's like the yeah. the, the shit that makes like rats fucking go towards cat they they start like it's like a parasite that makes them love um cat piss or something right and then they go and then to find the cat piss and the cats eat them or whatever it's fucked up shit it is it's, it's really fucked, fucked up, up, up <laughs> <laughs> fuck we're talking about a wide variety of good stuff i like it yeah no you know it's, it's a flowy conversation i like we're like okay what are we talking about next well, I always got these ideas in the back of my head. Like, I always bring up Epstein because I can't help it. Right. Um, what, what do you – here, what, let me ask this. What do you think of those crystals? Do you think crystals have any uh, power? Have you ever tried using those? Those I have, crystals? actually. And did you feel anything? I did. Do you think it was the placebo effect, or do you believe they have uh, – no, what did so you feel? I was never happened? actually told – so before I got told what crystals do – Mm -hmm. oh so it's like someone gave them to you without even telling you and you felt yeah they're like hey what do you think of this wow. and I held it in my hand there was like a weird like i guess the best way to describe it was like an emanation of like energy because mm. like i held it in my hand I'm like uh my hand feels weird and i was like oh cool you can sense their energy excellent i was like their energy okay can you talk me through that because i know what the hell you're talking about do you have any crystals? Did you end up getting any of your own? or? Uh, I've had and lost them over the years. Oh, damn. Yeah, I don't have any crystals. I got a buddy that's uh, super into that. And he looks like it too. Fucking Jake Williams, I think his name is. Um, yeah, I know him. Uh, hangs around with Ryan Lem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays yeah, okay, rapper. Jake. Yeah, I know him. He's a rapper too. He's cool. Maybe I'll get him on the podcast one day. Maybe yeah, why not? Pay you keys. <laughs> nice accent. <laughs> I'm no Taylor I Graham. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm no Taylor Graham, but I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. All right. Fuck, man, this has been fun, bro. I think uh, it has been. I think that's probably long enough for this one. Fucking, probably. I'll end it here. We we'll keep talking. Whoa, stop. Okay, peace, recorders.